there's a number of different things. Uh, you know, the most obvious, any traits that are of, of agronomic importance to the farmer, if you can deliver them to, if you can deliver those traits more quickly and more effectively, then it's going to be beneficial. Um, so if you're looking at um, uh, things like disease resistances, and you know, the thing about disease resistance is it's a moving target because the, the, the pathogen is always mutating and so the, the breeder is constantly trying to keep up with that. Uh, and so you, know, you may breed disease resistance into your crops at some point in time, but four or five years down the road you may need to do it again. And you need to be able to get those things into commercial varieties very quickly. So that's important. Um, you know, uh, uh, water issues are going to be of tremendous importance uh, going down the uh, going down the road. Uh, I read a statistics one one time that said that um, half of the uh, water that's consumed in China goes to irrigating rice, um, and uh, so you know uh, drought tolerance in rice is going to be a, a huge issue because you know most parts of the world are going to have water issues going forward. Um, and those types of traits, again, are very complex, and, and being able to put them into uh, elite uh, uh, commercial lines um, is something that our technology uh, can, can help with. And, and so that will help, uh, the, you know, if the farmer has restrictions on how much they can water, um, then he's absolutely going to need drought tolerant varieties. Um, and the final thing is, is that, that especially in, in the less, uh, the, the smaller crops, I mean, rice, corn, soybean, canola, wheat, these crops are all large enough that, uh, from a transgenic standpoint, you can you can put genes into them, and those crops can bear the the cost of the deregulation that goes with that, because it's an extremely costly process to deregulate a new trait. Um, for smaller crops, particularly a lot of vegetable crops and a lot of crops that are indigenous to developing countries, and absolutely not a big enough market to be able to afford transgenic technology uh, unless the regulation scheme changes and, that, and there's no sense that that's going to happen anytime soon. Uh, and so being able to rapidly approve those crops from a genetic basis in, in a non-transgenic way, and I'm not, I'm not saying anything against transgenics whatsoever, it's just the reality, the economic reality of it, uh, is very valuable to the farmers as well.